the G, got my nut loose. Or me, I'm just saying. You pull up to the scene, they be filled with jealousy. If a bitch get stop. <laughs> Finicky, she gon' bring the energy. Hit a phone with a C. Three, two, one, action. So, hello everyone, it's Harvey. I am my friends on the video, and I hope you guys are having a great time. And welcome to my channel. Guys, this is what I'm wearing today. I'm just giving you guys that kind of. It's me, you know, when you just, you know, there are some days you just wake up and you just feel like, just bite me, just bite it and take it all. That's how I feel today. You know, I'm happy to be alive and healthy, especially in the world we live today. So, how are you guys doing? I just want to say thank you guys so much for all the support, and I really appreciate it more than you guys can even imagine. Like, ah, guys, that's. Yeah, I, I love you guys so much. So let's get into this video. You guys know my favorite couple. Heart and Vangelista and Cheese Escudero. They came out with the part four of adulting. And I was like, you know what, honey? Oh, you're your favorite. When I saw the thumbnail, I had to check it out. The thumbnail was like, you have to check us. So I was like, let us see what they have for us in part four. My baby, let's see what they have. Okay. Hi, it's Heart, and welcome back to my channel. We are going to do the most, well, highly requested. Oh, honey, um, you don't episode, even have to say. That is adulting. Yeah. With oh, I love her hair Mr. this time. Cheese Escudero over here. Governor. So again, I just want to say thank you to everybody who sent their questions on oh. Instagram. We received a lot. Actually, we were overwhelmed. Oh. We came up, I mean, well, we chose a really, really good set of questions. So, are you ready? Cheese? I love her makeup here. It's so soft and wintry. Anong nakita mo kay Hart? Anong nagustuhan mo kay Hart? Mamaya pwede namin pag-usapan well, yun. Pero ngayon pag-usapan muna natin. Okay. Na Guys, they have to, um, the subtitles, which is perfect. Yeah, this was part, part two, right? Then this was part one. Then we've seen part three. I put you on the spot. Oh, yes, yeah, she like does, honey. Because she this goes time I haven't in. seen you for over a month. Pag-usapan natin yung pinagawa natin. O yung Wait, long distance. Is, but, you know, I mean, I just wanted to also bring it up because a lot of people during these days are really dealing with LDR and, yes. you know, what that's exactly what's happening with our lives now. But I love it that, you know, it's like... Funny, it's I like love the running, softness but, of know, this look. And Hearts. Yeah. The way they blush when they see each other, I'm like, ah, stop. Yung unang girlfriend ko, LDR yon when I started in the States. Walang email, walang cell phone, walang libring app like Viber, WhatsApp. Na pwede mong tawagan, oh, that's true. When he studied, I'm sure they didn't have any of those. Susulat ka talaga, literally. Papadala mo two weeks bago matanggap. So, kung susulat ka araw-araw, yeah. dapat araw-araw ba matanggap siya. Or My long distance gosh. call na sobrang mahal. Ngayon, actually, long distance, honey. Mo, makausap yung mahal mo. I'll be a freak. Mo, I don't know. Email, libre din, pwede. No, hindi ka na yun. So, mas maraming oportunidad naman na to be in touch. Meron pa nga video call. Yes. Um, oh. Noon, walang ganap. Yeah, I get that because that didn't some of my ex ko. We had Skype, we we had um, video calls, MMS also was very uso there. Okay, hot, you're too pretty. What the hell? This looks. And that makeup just. Good night, kay nang good night. Mga dalawang pung basis na wala pang mga babae. Ganon kayo. Pero telepono ng ganon. Kami kasi we would look into each other's eyes like that. Yeah. It's like she's flooding with him in this video. <laughs> Super. So wait, what is your advice to people that um, are separated during this time of the pandemic? Um, this too shall come to pass. It will pass. Uh, sooner than later, it's a matter of holding on to each other during this time. That's true. So many Even relationships are just like this now. Hmm. Ibig sabihin nun, mababaw. So mature, at hindi, right? At hindi nakaugat yung kung ano mang meron kayo. Your understanding of each other's profession, right? Am I right? Um, oh, parang familiar to. <laughs> I mean, I totally get it. No, I totally get it. No, I totally get it naman. Because I know that, you know, as a governor, it's I the know. president of your little country. And 
It's intense, guys. It, I mean, I thought that being a governor would be less than being a senator. No, honey, it's a why? It's story, but I do appreciate everything you Ipasa ko rin sa'yo. Ikaw kaya nag-shooting ka na. I wouldn't even expect a governor to have less work than a senator. Unawaan, hindi yan. Ibabalik mo lang dun sa isa. You're in charge of a task. Wala na lang balikan. Not representing the state, but... Okay, fine. So, anyway, but as it in in short, in a nutshell, it's about communication and understanding. Communication is key. Communication and actually appreciating each other while you're apart. And making the most out of that too. And not simply thinking that it's a waste of time while you're apart. I love that they have this stuff, this adulting series. It's so cool. Like me, I mean, ako, I feel like I'm also able to do the things that I need to do. When you're busy, I'm also productive. So Go. the selfish kind of love. You don't need that selfish. Kind yes. Of love. Um. Each and every person would also need time apart. Yes. To be by himself. So they can learn and yearn for apart, each other separately. I agree. I agree. Very good, Kajan. Okay. okay this so is with adult relationship Instagram, right here, people. You know, want to ask with your busy? Well, with our busy schedule. No, I'm not because my I show you guys on my stories. Ka. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I'm busy, but. They know what I do, but with you, like, do you even have time to do Netflix? Not in the province. Not here in Manila, Manila, yes. Actually, here in Manila, <laughs> Not Keith, I did Netflix once, and that was last night. We watched Netflix. Um, I decide while I'm walking, yes. so I can imagine I'm being a governor. Cheese, honestly, as an old Pinoy or being hot and evangelist. Which is all, yeah, you know, I bet, yeah. You know, I know, it's a bad one. It's a bad one. It's a bad one. Okay, they are they are gorgeous as a couple. Okay, so that's what they were just yeah, wondering. And I like, see. What are, the, what are the things that you like to do when you want to chill? It's like it's very mature. Go to the shooting range. Hmm? Um, what else? Watch you on Instagram or other people on Facebook. Um, and live vicariously. Isa lang kasi yung TV na nasa. Oh, that's nice. Living to other people. I get to watch it very... So, piscina. Sa kwart ako, walang TV. Kaya, I get to watch TV far and apart. So, when I'm in Manila, I get to watch TV a lot. Okay, as somebody who is in the public eye, a politician, you too! But I get it. He's a governor. Madami. May kinamayan kang... Hindi pala nakatingin sa iyo, hindi ka kinamayan, kung may kinawayan ka, hindi naman nakatingin, nakala mo kinakawayan ka, pero wala pong mapansin sa iyo. Ah, uh, may mga kasama ako sa kampanya, nakaway ng kaway pag may motorcade, pag tinitingin oh. kinakawayan, building lang pala. <laughs> <laughs> nangyari din sa akin, um, nangyari din sa akin 'yon. Or when you Honey, speak, you're not getting the desired reaction that I you can imagine because um, you have to have a bad bone being a governor. These are really just like random questions from all over the place. But oh, they are not playing, honey. When the video is done. I love but this. But like, for example, Konare, you're faced with somebody that you don't remember you met, but they seem like they really know you. What would you do? Ay, ilang beses oh, na nangyari sa snaps. Um, you change the conversation. Okay. Um, and hope to God that he doesn't ask you do you, do you remember me? I don't name God. I don't name God. Don't want to be in such a situation at all. You got to change the topic and you pull a friend or call a friend and um, introduce the friend. By the way, this is Hart. Oh, hi, I'm Hart. And then, exactly. but of course, of course your friend needs to know. Well, I know when he doesn't. So, oh. <laughs> hi, I'm Hart, nice to meet you. And then they'll introduce yes. themselves. Okay, another question um, that uh, we were getting on Instagram. There are bosses na talagang medyo makulit pagdating sa pag work, workplace na ito pinag-uusap. Mas ikaw yan kasi. Oh. Ma pinapakailangan yung personal life mo. Um, or what? Parang lahat na lahat. Ano, ano, I've experienced that before where I was working. With yep. your boss na medyo interfering with your personal life. That's the nice thing about being elected. Your bosses are your constituents or those who voted for you. Oh. Not really an official who's higher than you. So, although mas mataas ang presidente, sa senador, sa congressman, sa governor, hindi mo naman talaga sa boss eh. Ang boss mo, yung tao na bumoto sa'yo. Yung mga boss na yon don't usually interfere with your personal yeah. life. It's totally up to you whether if you, you want to share it or not. Life. Because if you don't do your job, probably next elections you won't win anymore. So it's totally up to you and the ball is in your hands. Truth. Unlike you that you actually have a boss. 
you have a boss at GMA, you have a quote-unquote boss whenever you endorse a product. Yes. Um, they get to be more demanding than well, bosses. Honey. I'm kind of used to being bossed around. Talaga, parang hindi ko naman naramdaman yun. Oh. Because dumating na ako sa point, ayaw ko na. But all my life, parang I would be yes, yes ma'am, yes mom. Ooh. Parang hindi kita naramdaman siya. So, sanay na ako na but now you're at a point where you have your own schedule too. Oh, that's your product endorsements and all that stuff. It's true. Ever allow that to happen again to me. Yeah. Okay. Once you've been through that um, life, you never want it again. No, it's really just more of I'm enjoying like, life. Like, if I now. shut down my I salon, I, I don't want to be in that. Okay, I think I am. Yes, no. Uh, yeah, so, okay. Let's go a little bit more. My guests are like, um, you can like work in a salon so you can still take us. I'm like, two, three people that's away. Everything is happening on social media. It's I mean, not we really spoke about this the last time, mm -hmm. and a lot of people actually resonated with what we talked about. Yes. Um, oh, I was one of them. Let's talk about people that are like private citizens that not necessarily want to be in the spotlight but want to make a difference. Uh, for the country okay um, i know a few people that like a, a few of our friends that have been helping a lot but what else can they do to huh. bago ang social media bago ang internet bago yung twitter facebook and everything you have now the only way to make your voice heard would be to go out in the streets hold a placard shout oh, the top of the whatever it is that you believe in go or get to get interviewed when i was uh, little maybe uh, media personality <laughs> so that your voice can be heard. I don't Everyone's voices can actually be posted and in a way heard depending on what they're saying. So there's more op openings and possibilities and opportunities That's for, true. for any ordinary citizen or even for higher ranking officials in government. Politics defined this simply <laughs> the art of influencing others. So if you try to influence someone, whether to subscribe to what you believe in, whether it pertains to government okay. or how they should dress or how they should talk, what they should eat, <laughs> then you are engaging in politics. That's oh, that's the true. That's the true. Of politics. So in a way, all of us are engaged in politics. Some in relation to government. I know before I wasn't even... Some in relation even... to convincing your friend to but go the war today, with you to where you like, want okay, to. I have yeah. to say even something. Even if she doesn't want to. Yeah. Let's talk about like with the last, with what happened, the typhoons that came. I know, a lot of people I saw. Start to donate, a lot of, you know, I heard you say like you had certain concerns about donations and stuff. Just, I mean, privately we had this conversation. Okay, because I you mean, don't I mean, know I where the money is going to. <laughs> makes a lot of sense. I mean, I think that you made so much sense and I, I don't mind sharing what you said what is important about donating goods what's important when you donate is to actually look at the people who are in need of donations okay most people some people simply to make them feel good um put five kilos of rice x um pieces of canned goods um, instant mami cafe they pack it they give it away to a person whose house was um flooded or whose house was inundated totally by a flood or nasunugan but then every day, if you think about it from his or her perspective, meaning the victim's family, yeah. um, they're currently in an evacuation center. Paano so, yung, yes. Yung, yung it's, it's, so, giving a gift that is realistic, not... Um, what they need immediately, right after... Giving it to just... Would be a soup kitchen, a hot meal. Yes. That's readily available right then and there. Otherwise, uh, mostly what you see on TV is that they distribute the relief packs, yeah. Papa Picture, because you know, and yeah, as soon yeah. as the person returns to the evacuation center, he yeah, back to, the yes, so we are like, coming, reality he comes, comes back. Coming probably a week or two weeks after, once they've started, once the floodwaters have come down, and once they've started actually rebuilding their homes and their lives, that's where it would come in. Yeah, but like for example, That's... I mean, I also donated rice and all of that. <laughs> My heart was there. So what did I do wrong? What, what rice... should I do? What what? Yeah, should you I didn't do, do anything wrong. Just that you donated, for example, in Sersogon, we used by uh, we used as a soup kitchen. Okay. We bought the province bought something like a hundred isandang caldera. Time binili namin isandang lutoan. 
para maka-distribute kami sa mga He gives his gifts in a very practical way. It makes a lot of para sense. Para maka-distribute kami ng actually hot meals sa mga evacuation. Um, he deals, he's a fixer. But if yeah, fixers packed, are like this. Meaning, nakapack na yung relief. Even pack. when I'm investing, I'm thinking about the end result, not the immediate if someone donates cash, gains, but the way of cash for work. Four years Kapalit later, ten years, years later. Kapalit na magiging sa kapitbahay para makapag kumpuni ng bahay, hindi niya sarili bahay. That's para smart. Para you get to double the Fixers, at the same oh, time, you don't... I mean, fixers, so I know that feeling. Yeah. Um, you give them dignity, you give them pride in their own work and in rebuilding their own lives. Yeah, because, you know, you see people begging and all of that. Kawawa naman. Eh. Kawawa din, pero kawawa din naman. Mas matagal sila magiging kawawa kung hinayaan mo rin ganun. So, ever since um, what we did was when we were hit by Typhoon Pisoy, yes. we cook for them and when we, when we give relief packs, it's in exchange yeah. for something coming That's from smart. them I have by to way be of honest. cleaning their own barangay, by way of cleaning our health. I would say, oh, house no, old woman in it makes barangay. perfect sense. This, um, Lolo in their barangay. Yes. Or this That's how when I'm giving a gift, I'm like, then on, I don't just give the gift, I'm like, value how meaningful will it be for that person? Yeah, yep. but there's this term floating around that it's donation fatigue. Oh. What, do you, what can you say about that? That term was used in politics more often than in relation Yeah, actually, in, here in the States, when you give donations, you can actually deduct it as taxation. So, most of the wealthy people, that's what they do. They will donate stuff so that way it can bring their tax down. <laughs> so, it's not because they really want to give, it's just because it will help. <laughs> Um, Tax right off. Minsan, hindi naman sa donor fatigue, pero wala na rin mabibigay yung dating may pwedeng ibigay pa. Oh. Kung baga, pigam pigana. But then again, if you still have, there's no reason not to give, not yeah. to extend it further. It's, it's true. Ito, Paying it forward. Sa pera, mas malaki at mas marami yung balik. Um, oh. Simple law of karma. Pag mahigit no, ka sa pera, why, yeah. magamot ka. Um, In love. Minsan, it makes a lot of sense. Noong mga panahong ganun ka, mas madalang dumating yung grasya at yung beneficyo lang. So I encourage everyone to actually be open to giving. I assure you, um, it will... Oh yes, it will reap the it's better that. giving than... Well, yes, it's true. It may not be me. So true. Sometimes it'll take a while. But if you look back on your life, you will like, hmm. realize that during the times that you actually were helping other people or a lot of people, um, it was easy. Money was easier to come by. Yes. Okay, so wait. It's Going back, so true. Make it clear. Donating um, canned goods and all of these things is still very, very good. What you're oh, saying is that whoever is in charge yes. of that, split, that place should have a system that they should be able to cook for the people. Yes. Kasi paano nga naman nila bubuksan yung mga dilata at tinutuloy ng mga dilata? Eh wala nga sila mainit na tubig. Ngayon kung hindi ginagawa yun ng mga nasa baba, ng mga opisyal sa baba, then There's whoever wants, whoever wants it. to really help, then they can do, do it, it themselves. Yourself, which is also... Which is also being done by yeah. a lot of groups actually yeah. now. Oh, okay. People. So about friends and foes. Oh, boy, honey. Different topic naman tayo ngayon. Woo! Medyo lighter side naman. Um, Friends and foes. Yes. In politics uh, or not? In politics and <laughs> in general. Like Let's I see. experience a lot. Um, what do you been. think about the idea of outgrowing your friends? Like you, for example, it you does. had a lot of friends in the past Happen. that aren't there anymore. Yes. I mean, I've seen people come and go. Of course, in my life, I've seen people come. What do you? Th what are your thoughts? What are your thoughts about <laughs> that? The best test that you haven't outgrown a friend notwithstanding the fact that you haven't seen each other for a long time is different when you see each other parang walang panahon na lumipas it's no true no awkwardness walang my best friends the both of them I have it's like that when we see ourselves you wouldn't even parang know walang, parang that it's been a while like not a day gone by I have a lot of friends who are like that we don't get to see each other but when weekly, you monthly sometimes we see each other once a once year once a year right but when we do it's like kahapon lang kami right yeah i agree yun yung mga kaibigan na pwede mong sabihin talagang pangmatagalan yun yung mga kaibigan my two best friends it's like that yeah kung karanasan may mapag-uusapan pa rin kayo oh he's a fixer definitely a fixer from high school from grade school yes and those friends those are the friends that i cherish more 
then those that happen to be my friends because we're doing something together. Right. Now, that um, it's convenient for us or we need each other right now. Um, well, they're also friends, but not. Um, um, they're more like an acquaintance. Baka maasahan mo yung acquaintance friends. We have friends, acquaintance friends, then we have best friends. And then acquaintance. Like, tried and tested, come hell or high water. Right, they've been there with you. Whether they're in a position I get it. to help you with what you need. You can rest be assured that they will always, at the very least, be there for you. Yep. Ako na naman, what I call them is taping friends. Parang you're only friends oh, oh. during taping. But oh. like, that was before. But some develop into real friendships. Right. Yeah, not, some develop into that. real friendships. But I must admit that I, it does make me sad whenever I think about friendships that all of a sudden aren't there anymore. Honey. You don't know what you did wrong. You feel like you don't stink. Uh, I don't understand that. Honestly, me. I'm Because I don't have a lot of friends. So when I have a friend, I really invest you in my emotions. That's why I have time. to see. This and is why I have two friends. Because I don't when understand I, why all of a sudden, parang I can give everything I have to my friends. Friends, yeah, like I'm so that person. Be more secure with respect to who you are. Have more confidence that um, for as long as you didn't do anything wrong or bad, you um, just no reason exactly. You're yeah, like, okay, let's keep, keep doing what we do. Today, um, well, what, 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 what was it? Honestly, I hope, what was it? <laughs> like because sometimes I feel really dumb. Like I, I have, a, I have a friend that. I, I don't know what happened, she just disappeared and I remember we'd go, I'd see her no. and I'd feel really stupid that I'd really always just run after her, hey, hey, oh, and then, oh, I honey. After, and then she, I gotta go, 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 and you feel like, until I didn't say anything until my friend started to say it, oh. and then, like, 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 when that like, happens, honey, like, boom. You need to and move on. Yep. Or if they I'd rather have one, two friends wrong, than have millions of friends that don't like do me. Yeah. Their lives and they're, they're just Only go where you are celebrated, celebrated not where you are tolerated. You were not doing anything wrong. You're not doing anything wrong whenever you approach them, whenever you feel like you're close and she's right. not. Right. Period. 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 It's still not an excuse for government to abdicate on its responsibility of doing its job or doing what it needs to do. And government precisely was invented. Yeah, they have a lot of islands. Governments were invented in order to fill the gap, in order to help people that cannot be helped by ordinary people. Governments were invented to serve, to protect, Guys, to safeguard. <laughs> life is not easy. Why? You can't do that in Galea. Like um, there's a lot of stages to life. Um, yun naman talaga ang objective at reason at purpose kaya ginawa ang gobyerno eh. Mm. So, I yung kawaging resilient na Pilipino, okay, okay puro yun sa pagsambayan ng Pilipina, pero hindi dahilan yun para hindi nila gawin yung trabaho right, nila. Right, the government, yes. Para magkulang sila sa dapat nilang Sometimes strong people nagawa. needs to be, The government was faulted for you know, using, for calling so. the Filipino people resilient. And looks after that like, That by itself hmm. to me, there's nothing wrong with that. As long as, as I said, they still did their part and not simply rely on the so-called resiliency of um, the people. Nakakayanin nila automatically. My gosh. Nakakayanin nila automatically. Nakakalumpot lang. Yung problema natin taon-taon tungkol sa bagyo, ganun pa rin taon-taon at wala pa rin ginagawa tungkol. Okay, na question. Tungkol. What would you do okay. if you had any kind of like power to... To correct, because now we have Honey, now there's rescue operations. That's a difficult question because you have to see the problems to know what you're working with. Damage each and every typhoon wreaks on the communities, our communities. For example, kung kada baha o kada ulan wala pang bagyo, pinapasa lahat ng opisina, lahat ng negosyo, oh lahat ng trabaho, lahat ng eskwela. Magkano bang nawawala sa atin doon? I read a study that said um, we lose about 200 billion pesos a year because of the missed economic opportunities brought about by declaring no classes or no, or no work whenever there's flooding. Then if it costs that much, um, hindi naman siguro masama. Right, there uh, should be ways to correct that, right? Kalahati lang yun ang gasto. To prevent rise. Kada taon, 
Okay, it's a bit more than one time. That's why you have to see like, the problem to know what um, you're working with. It makes a lot of sense. Watch this. Meron kang 10, 11 billion na flood control every year na useless lang naman, nabali wala lang at alam mo, next year, ganun pa rin naman huh? Somebody, for Which example, is... proposed, it's a complicated okay. um, proposal, construct a huge cistern, at least temporarily. What's a cistern? Malaking lalagyan ng tubig. Mm. They proposed it during the previous administration's time. Um, I don't know the details, but it sounded good. Mm -hmm. For example, pukayin daw yung buong football field na oh. UST, gumawa ng malaking cistern doon, Tapos, ibalik uli yung lupa, ibalik uli yung babaw para football okay. field pa siya. Tapos, yung drain dun pabagsakin lahat oh. para wala ka ng mga sa Espanya at saka sa University Avenue at sa Quiapo. Tapos, pag wala ng ulan, then you get to pump it out. If you can filter it, then you provide it water huh. potable dun sa area na yun. This is, this is doable. I mean, side... Guys, it's crazy. I love when, uh, you know, that's why whenever I watch his movies, you know, like um, Madame Secretary and stuff, I like seeing how they do their negotiations and discussions on how to run a country or a state. I love that because you see how they balance, you know, bounce ideas back and forth. It's so cool because then you're like, wow, okay. Everyone here, yeah, they are at the top of their game. That's why when I'm working, honey, I'm doing my videos, uh, editing everything, just because, guys, there is a way you do things that saw me do it and you're like you know i like oh no you know because your aesthetics can be different from someone else's so when you guys can just bounce ideas back and forth it just works specifically it's of course okay it to is. do of course it is why? most houses have a sister we have a sister we have a sister but why aren't they doing it probably because um it'll take them about four to five years and then they're like okay that that's exactly and and um, it's the next administration Isn't there, that reap the benefits but you told me that there's yeah but you said that there's a law that pwedeng ituloy kahit hindi ka na nakaupo oh naman pwede naman talaga but, pero pwede rin naman baguhin kung ayaw at mahabang awa yun para that's the thing you can force a horse to a viva but you cannot force them to drink years. they plan for 200 years when they build an airport they they plan for the next 100 years so ganito yung population ngayon ganito kalaking airport just, there must be room for expansion so we have to build the airport in a lot that still has more space available should the time come that we need it we plan things in the Philippines for six years. The medium-term development plan of the Philippines for our country is six years. Mm. Why? Because that's the term of a sitting president. Yeah. Okay. Um, it should be longer, actually. Right. Whoever sits so as president There should, should be a continuation. So that we should continue it, understand. and the project should also have sustainability, because big projects won't be finished in six it's years. Six years, right. Unfortunately, people get to judge a sitting president based on his performance while he was sitting, while he is sitting. So these things have to be balanced and it takes a level of maturity not only on the part of the What did I tell you guys? Their yeah, relationship is a very mature relationship that it's so... That, that a sitting official is not facts. doing anything simply because you don't see the fruits of his labor. Yeah. Some because of those that would matter the most won't yeah. take time. Right. Yeah, so... Oh my god! I so know! It's stressful though. Yes. Uh, it really is. Because you know, now, because of everything that's happening, of course, even for me, like, when I think about politics, you, you sit in a different light now. When I think about <laughs> politics, it, you know, it's very negative to me, and I'm sure a lot of people. But now you're you right. Case. How can that be changed? It's Honey. a work in progress. Um, politics? It cannot be done overnight. It's a work in progress. <laughs> if you look at your history, That's all I'm gonna say. young democracy. Young, given the fact that um, we were given our independence, if some would argue against it that we're not truly independent, or were not truly independent that time. In 1946, if you compute oh. that, that's 54 years plus 20, we're 74, we're a 74 year old democracy. Oh. Comparing it to, <laughs> comparing it to oh, other no. countries who <laughs> have been a democracy for two, three hundred years. Yes. And they went through the same problem. It's true. It's true. Vision, short sightedness, corruption. Yeah, 70, 70. They went yeah. through all of that too. Who wouldn't want for us to leapfrog 70, to where those older democracies yeah. are now? But you can't compare that to this. To it's true. The process in order to learn the lesson. It's true. Parang nag gusto mo matuto magbike kung pwede lang yung anak mo marunong na magbike agad hindi na mahuhulog eh. Hindi it's like so comparing an adult to a newborn baby. Na. So then when you come, yeah, it, it makes a lot of sense. Until they realize and the voters become educated enough to know who they should elect, am I right? Oh my god, there will be now, a lot of disparity. Okay, um, 
you I'm know, totally when it comes to... all the other questions because this is so juicy. That's a difficult... Oh, honey, you can say that That's again. Yeah, tell me. He's speaking the fact like... Because now it's all about popularity. It's all no. about... Who are you to say simply because you're more educated? Simply because a person has um, more experiences? Who are they to say that they, their choices That's are true. Sometimes some people, person's even when I'm walking out, you notice this. When I was walking with other stylists, yeah. Minsan, pag matalino yung nakaupo, mas mahirap mahuli pag gumagawa siya ng kalokohan dahil nga matalino. Matalino ma, ginagamit naman yung talino sa masama, hindi sa mabuti. It makes Kung a lot of sense. Hindi naman gano -gano, it does. No? Pero nasa tamang lugar naman yung puso. At kumuha sa mga matatalinong tao para tulungan siya at pinapakinggan niya, hindi rin kawalan yun. Baka nga mas magaling pa siyang leader kesa rin sa madalino. Na ang isip niya, ako na pinakamagaling, wala na mas magaling sa akin. I love sa akin, stuff, stuff like this because na. it's like, Mahirap din naman yes, so, you are right. Wala you know, sa you... level ng edukasyon ng taong bumoboto o ng taong binoboto kung sino yung talagang bagay at angkop para sa atin. Okay, I know you're gonna hate this question. What did you ask? Oh my god, what should I, I got should... a lot of... Uh, but I already know your answer, but let's just put it out there because I hate it when okay. people always... Of course, I, I get it though, that people what always put color, you? but are you running now for president? No, I have no plans of doing so. Why? No money, no resources, not my time, um, and I'm happy where I am. You have to want it. Yes, so it's those true. Those who are running who say that they don't want it, um, it's not that accurate. You have to want it um, before you can actually decide, decide to run, uh, actually yeah. run a campaign and be the president, governor, congressman, or senator. Um, it's true, it though. Is, it will. Um, so you have to want it first. Right now, I'm like now, what I, I want is different from if what I, I wanted run, ten years ago. It's true. Either run for governor again not run or run for the senate if i have the numbers or simply nakagana na lang ako sa iyo wag naman dalo oh she's like uh uh she's like uh uh oh ayoko nang ganun kailangan busy ka kasi mo pressure ako but um but why did you run for vice president before we never really spoke about this Although, oh, can I just did? say before anything to just, you know, I really did enjoy the campaign. I love campaign season because it's it's a different world. It's a different high. Oh, honey, um, I'm scared of this campaign just season because season the different world different goes people. crazy. Why did you run for vice president? Every American knows that now it's impeachment, talking about impeachment and people are already going crazy. What do you mean you wanted to get it over and done with? Yep. Yep. Exactly. And at the same time, at that time, um, I felt like I had something unique or different. I know what your intentions were, but like, what did you want to do at that time? He doesn't know As do stuff he thinks before doing it. <laughs> okay, these questions are not just points, they're seven. bullets. One in all six except for one. Oh. Um, sa lahat na election ko, hindi ko naman pinagdasal na manalo ko eh. Marami akong hinihingi sa Diyos. Marami ako ibang bagay na pinagdarasal sa Diyos. Pero hindi isa yon sa it pinagdarasal ko sa So he doesn't na, chase. He doesn't like na chasing. Na sa election. Mm -hmm. Okay. I always pray in relation to elections that I'm running for, for, thy, for his will to be done. For thy will to be that done. Is, that is naman perfect. Na bagay, mas he doesn't chase. It's like if it's mine, it's mine. If it's not mine. People learn. Gun, something you don't have to chase after. It's easier to um, accept if it was not given to you because you didn't ask for it. Yeah. It's yes, and then it's like, oh my god, this just happened. Grace and be more confident because you would know that if it happened, yeah. with your prayer, it it's in a as well. The reason why I ask this is because every time we do an adulting, we touch a lot of people's lives. We inspire a lot of people that yes. watch us. And That's I why I love to put it out. out there because, you know, with the politics and I myself understand that everything has color, politics is politics. I didn't want our adulting to have color. I wanted it to be an episode where people can learn and know that there are no ulterior motives. That's why I wanted to bring it up because I know I know the month that you're not gonna. And it works. So nagbabak a defensive tayo nga. Ako, because it's, it's nice to watch. I mean, I honestly learn from it as well, and I just wanted to share that. Okay, so um, no ulterior motives given the fact that um, if at all, 
Running for office is a totally different uh, uh, field, mm. totally different time, totally They'd different like, mm, 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 to each other. I'm like, experience, as you said, that is nothing to do I'm with like, get me out of the way. I would I'll do what I need to do on the side, I'm fine. Precisely. So, at the end of the day, um, because then you can go to bed and not think about someone attacking you. You can sleep well at night. It makes a lot of sense. A majority, even sometimes a minority, think differently and it's serving a purpose for them. Say la vie. It's okay. At least we both understand each other. We know our intentions. Okay, so now, my second to the last question. Yes. Next election's coming up. What is your advice to people that are about to vote or first time voters or people who's gonna honey vote we like just did us to get to know the candidates that's one advantage again social media insane. gives you um you get to see them not just watch we are still their ads we are still you get in to it. see them you get to see videos about them now it's been said that the politicians of today are worse than the politicians of yesterday they are in line um, they so are in sure line at all if at all the politicians are you sure? mm. get to be exposed more given that a lot of people have cameras social media okay hands, that's so true like moral, that's true before they could hide it and the limit that's true compare that now my camera yes media it's man, true and my cameraman photographer ngayon halos lahat meron eh so, hindi naman sa so you cannot sa silence the media sa now. Yeah. Mas exposed lang sila ngayon. Mas it's true. Mas nakikita ko ano man yung ginagawa nila. Hindi ibig sabihin hindi ginagawa ng mga iba noon yun. Before, Mas it's hindi true. Mas hindi nakikita noon it's... kumpara ngayon. And it's a nice check and balance. Because like an actress, if you're acting, you act only in front of a camera. Politicians, um, given the millions of cameras seven. around them that can be right. on at twenty four fucking moment, seven, then um, it takes its toll on them in so far as not being able to um, be consistent in who they really are. Yeah. Ultimately, parang in sa PBB, lalabas at lalabas yung ugali right, camera twenty four seven. You can't hide it. Yeah. That's the principle. Behind. You can't hide it. You can't. For politicians to be He's in the right. So I have, yeah. Case, Millions of cameras. It makes a lot of sense, yeah. I know. Im imagine waking up and you're like, in order to correct ah, abuses mm -hmm. as well. That so why? I mean, it's a positive thing. And I don't know. Research about your candidate. Ako na pinta sa na bumoto na ka short pansi. Pero mas maganda ng pintas naman yun. He's funny without even trying. With this whole pandemic happening, know, everybody's girl. lives are on a pause. Oh. People are being anxious. People are, you know. A lot of people losing their jobs. Yep. You know, the dream seems to be so hard to reach. Yep. What is your advice to give people hope and to keep dreaming? Parang LDR lang yan. Um, at some point in time, you will see each other. This COVID pandemic, like Disney movies, these lockdowns will. It's a whole new world. This will be over sooner, That's or right. some would say later. And just wait for the grand opening of the Philippines of the world. Ooh your lives um, once that happens that's hmm. something to look forward to but kasi nabi yung parang yeah if you have the finances to wait you know pag hindi kayo nakikita ng matagal may gigil may iba kang tingin sa mahal mo sa kaibigan mo sa pamilya mo mas appreciative ka di ba so ganun din naman siguro yung mundo ganun din yung pakiramdam ganun din yung buhay pagkatapos you gotta smell the flowers more you gotta appreciate what you have more once it's given you again Given the fact that it's been deprived, I know been deprived of it you saw so realizing like, so wow, I didn't year, notice this. But it, it's something to look forward to. Kasi naman yung isipin mo na habang buhay ng ganito, uh, hindi naman to habang buhay. Lilipas at lilipas, matatapos no, at matatapos what? din to. Kung gaano katagal, hindi natin alam, pero mas matagal, it's true. mas mamahalin mo kung anong meron ka, mas mamahalin mo kung yung nagagawa mong dati, at um, mas magiging masaya ang buhay sa totoo lang, because you get to enjoy the simpler things in life. And... For the meantime, what should they do? For the meantime, make the most out of what they have. I saw an ad. It's a beautiful ad. Okay. Um, kailan daw babalik yung dati? Kailan daw babalik yung dati? Kailan daw babalik sa school? Oh. Kailan daw mapapasok sa oh. bahay? Oh. Ano yung tatay? Tapos sa dulo, sabi nung ad, sana wag na mangyari yun kasi masaya ako. Huh. Tatay ko palagi nagtatrabaho sa bahay. That's true. Will that tapos, life be... Sana ganito palagi. I know for... Kapatid ko pagkatapos ng klase na... Yeah, may the beauty in life sana where I don't have to... Sana ganito palagi kasi ko at lola ko, andito sa bahay din, hindi lumalabas at hindi nagpupunta kung saan-saan. 
So you get to appreciate and look at it as a glass half filled instead of a glass half empty. Uh -huh. Appreciate yes, it's love. Live what you have right, right now. But it's Don't easier it's said than done sometimes, I have to be honest. Use that opportunity to grow so that when the world reopens, then you're a better person. Then you're able better to spend version of yourself. a better version of yourself. You're able to spend quality time with the people you love because probably when the world reopens, you'll be busy with other things. Yeah. So at least you, you were able to do that during this time. Okay. Yeah, it's nice meeting you. <laughs> Thank you so much for granting me this interview. You're always so wonderful. Um, that was it's, really good. Yeah. Thank you so much. Again. Whenever they do this you know, adulting, I, 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 I'm um, like, attention because yeah. I'm like... <laughs> okay, well, guys, that's <laughs> it. Um, it was a pretty long adulting, but uh, it was know, worth I it. hope you guys, uh, it's again, it. were enlightened and inspired. Yes. Um, keep safe. Again, thank you, Cheese, for joining us on this episode. You're and welcome, darling. Below, this has been Heart and Cheese. Bye. Bye, guys. Okay, <laughs> this. Oh, I scrubbed her. Yep. Okay, I have to be honest with you guys, right? Um, I've said this to my best friend, I told her, if anyone after COVID, you know, there's some kind of normalcy, goes back to their former life, and they did not do anything other than that, they were just waiting for the world to go back open, so they can go back to what they've been doing all their lives, they are fools. Because COVID has taught us that, honey, you are not safe, especially when your livelihood depends on servicing other people. I'm in the service industry. I'm losing my business of almost four years by the end of this month because, hello, if people don't come to the salon, I cannot do their hair. And as such, I cannot pay the rents any longer because I'm running out of savings to pay the rents. So I realized, wow. So if people don't come to you for a service, you can't even feed yourself. Is that the life you want for yourself for the next 10, 20 years? And as such, I started doing a different business on the side. And that business is taking off to a point where now shutting down the salon, I don't mind it any longer because for the past four years, I've been trying to just pay the rent, just pay the mortgage. Just I don't even have net income to say, okay, I took this home for myself. No, no. If you go back to your previous life without having a plan B, plan C, plan D, you're a damn fool. That's all I'm going to say. So if you're looking for, oh, I can't wait for the world to go back to what it was. Please make sure that you've also worked on something else. So when the world comes back to life, you have an extra advantage. You have something extra, not just, okay, let me go back and clock in and clock out. People have lost their jobs. People like me are losing our businesses. People have lost their lives. You know, people have lost their finances and stuff like that, like their livelihood. People are sick. So there's a lot going on. So yes. If you just go watch Netflix, then go to bed and nothing else, then you're waiting to go find a job later. Oh, honey, you're a damn fool. Anyway, I cannot wait to see you guys soon in the next video. I'm from South Africa and that's how I done. Bye, guys. Cause I'm loving myself so good. Did you guys hear that? I'm scared. And a way that you're never good.